Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory today. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Today we're actually going to be talking about something very melancholy. Today we're going to be talking about the six artists that predicted their deaths. Artist number one is XXX Tentacion. You guys don't need a whole rundown as to why it is that I'm going through this because I've made so many videos on the subject. So if you want to go take a look at those videos, you can. Up here in the I card, go take a look at those. But just some of the songs where he predicted his death, and you guys are more than welcome to do the research and see some of the lyrics that he put uh, in his song Sad. So in his song Sad, and this is just one of many songs that uh, he did that in. In his song Sad, uh, if you guys remember correctly, the video started with him in the casket, okay? And mind you, the video that he made, this video, Sad, was made well before his actual death and came out after he died. So now imagine how weird that is. The guy died and now a music video before he died comes out of him being in a casket. That's creepy. Artist number two is Juice World. Yes, Juice World did predict his own death. In fact, he predicted it in a line that came from one of his songs called Legends. Uh, in verse one, he says this line. What's the 27 Club? We ain't making it past 21. The reason why this statement is important is because a lot of artists have died before the age of 27, including Kurt Cobain and some other very notable artists as well. And of course, the part that makes this the creepiest is that Juice World died at age 21. He literally did not make, he literally did not make it past 21. Artist number three is Biggie Smalls. A lot of you may not know about Biggie Smalls, but he was one of the most prolific rappers of the 90s. Biggie Smalls actually had a whole lot of songs about his death, and he predicted it a few times in different ways. But there were a few songs that we're going to talk about today in what he was saying as well in those songs. So he had, check this out, he had a whole album called Ready to Die. An entire album dedicated to him dying okay so he actually predicted his death in a couple of songs like juicy big papa and also one of his most notable songs suicidal thoughts now in this song he was talking about a lot of the the main point of the song was him committing suicide and about how he wanted to die and all of this stuff so one of the lines from that song is this i'm glad i'm dead i swear to god i feel like death is effing calling me Literally in this song, he was already predicting the fact that death was calling his name. He just didn't realize that a few years later, he would be shot in a drive-by shooting in his car. That's bad too. Artist number four is John Denver. Now, I know a lot of you don't know who John Denver is, and, and that's okay. I'm sure you walked into a Walmart and heard it while shopping for groceries. This guy's song is so prolific and so popular, but let's talk about why this song is important in how he predicted his death. John Denver wrote a song uh, called On a Jet Plane. And in this song, he actually spoke about how there was, an, uh, there was an artist who was going away for a long time and he wasn't gonna see his family. And several times in the song, he mentions that he doesn't know if he'll be back again. He doesn't know if he'll come back from this jet plane. Check this out. 28 years later, he got on a jet plane and never came back again. John Denver predicted his death 28 years before it happened. Now, once again, the song is called On a Jet Plane and he died on a jet plane. The reason why he died is because the jet plane malfunctioned and it crashed and everyone on board died. So yeah, he predicted his death too. Artist number five is Tupac. Now, Tupac has made a lot of notable songs and, uh, and I'm telling you, I'm a big fan of a lot of the music he's made, but even I didn't know how many times he predicted his death. So let's listen to a few things here. Um, on a song called Niggas Done Changed, a song that he did with a guy named Richie Rich, he actually gave a few accurate depictions on how he would die. So the part that was so crazy is that people heard a lot of Tupac songs and a lot of them were so accurate to how he died in the future, right? that a lot of people believe that his death is still a conspiracy to this very day. But let's read one of the lines from his song that he did. Uh, and what it says is, I've been shot and murdered. Can't you tell how it happened word for word? Wow, he literally said in the song, 
I have been killed already. So he was making the song for the future tense and mentioned that he was shot and killed the very same way he was shot and killed in Las Vegas. He, de he described it right here. That's crazy. It, it makes no sense. That's insane, right? How did you do that? We don't know. Also, here's a few other songs where he predicted his death. I Ain't Hard to Find, I Ain't Mad at You, Hearts of Men, and Life Goes On. And the last artist on our Who Predicted Their Death list is actually a band called Leonard Skinnerd. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Leonard Skinnerd. I've heard some of their songs, but I never really followed them throughout the years. But when I heard this, this was probably the creepiest prediction I have ever heard. Leonard Skinner actually ended up in a plane crash in 1977 that killed members Ronnie Van Zant and siblings Steve and Casey Gaines. Now remember though, this crash was eerily predicted. Let's explain how. They made a song called That Smell on their hit album, Street Survivors. Now, this song and album were released three days after the crash, okay? Three days after the crash. So let's talk about how they predicted it. There's a few things here and why it's so creepy. Number one, they had a lot of lyrics in the song that were extremely, extremely disturbing. Here are a few lyrics and why their prediction is so creepy. Say you'll be all right come tomorrow, but tomorrow might not be here for you. Angel of darkness upon you and the smell of death surrounds you. Weird. Now, let's look at this. The cover of their album Street Survivors actually depicts the band engulfed in flames. That's right, the band is engulfed in flames. And if you know what fire does to human flesh, it causes a very, very, very bad stench. Very stinky, right? So the, the song That Smell, with the lyrics mentioning the smell of death around you, the picture of the album cover being the band engulfed in fire and they were killed in a plane crash. That's pretty bad. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this list, this small, tiny list of artists who predicted their deaths. I'll be doing more videos soon enough. I've been a little busy lately trying to get some content together, but I appreciate all of you being here and supporting me in this channel. Thank you all so much. And of course, I'll be making some more content soon. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later.